Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to be discussing an important scene that was cut from the films entirely. A scene that a lot of you have probably never seen. It takes place in Little Whinging and involves Harry as well as all three of the Dursleys, Vernon, Petunia, and most importantly, Dudley. The scene in question is part of the books, but never made it into the movies despite being filmed, as filmmakers felt that it just didn't fit. However, in my opinion, the removal of this scene was a bit of an injustice to the Dursleys, as it was an opportunity for redemption. It showed the humanity of their characters and effectively conveyed that they weren't necessarily pure evil, they were just human and scared like the rest of us. The scene also completed Dudley Dursley's character arc. This scene would have taken place years after Dudley was attacked by Dementors in the Order of the Phoenix and years after he was saved by his freak cousin Harry. The Dementor attack was a profound moment for Dudley as it allowed him to finally realize his faults. JK Rowling put it best herself. Though Dementor attacks are almost never a good thing, this one was. People usually ask me, what is it that Dudley saw during the Dementor attack? Rowling said, my feeling is that he saw himself exactly for what he was and for a boy that spoiled, it would be terrifying so he was jolted out of it. Dementor attacks aren't usually good for people, but this one was. Being attacked by Dementors and being forced to view his own horrible traits, then being saved by the very boy that he tormented had a profound impact on Dudley, an impact that became evident during chapter three of The Deathly Hallows, The Dursleys Departing. The deleted scene from the films more or less gives us a massively simplified version of this chapter, which actually has quite a lot of depth. Given that the chapter was already condensed into so little, I'm surprised and a little disappointed that they cut it from the final film. In this chapter, the Dursleys are finally departing their home on Privet Drive and being escorted to safety, prompting a series of awkward goodbyes between Harry and Vernon as well as Harry and Petunia. However, Harry's goodbye with Dudley was actually rather profound. It all started with a cup of tea. There's no need, Harry muttered but Uncle Vernon made any further explanation unnecessary by saying loudly, well, this is goodbye then, boy. He swung his right arm upward to shake Harry's hand, but at the last moment seemed unable to face it and merely closed his fist and began swinging it backward and forward like a metronome. Ready, Duddy? asked Petunia, fussily checking the clasp of her handbag so as to avoid looking at Harry altogether. Dudley did not answer, but stood there with his mouth slightly ajar, reminding Harry a little of the giant grawp. He had already reached the living room door when Dudley mumbled, I don't understand. What don't you understand, Popkin? asked Petunia looking up at her son. Dudley raised a large, ham-like hand to point at Harry. Why isn't he coming with us? Uncle Vernon and Aunt Petunia froze when they stood, staring at Dudley as though he had just expressed a desire to become a ballerina. What? said Uncle Vernon loudly. Why isn't he coming too? asked Dudley. Well, he doesn't want to, said Uncle Vernon turning to glare at Harry and adding, you don't want to, do you? Not in the slightest, said Harry. There you are, Uncle Vernon told Dudley. Now come on, we're off. He marched out of the room. They heard the front door open, but Dudley did not move, and after a few faltering steps, Aunt Petunia stopped too. What now, barked Uncle Vernon, reappearing in the doorway. It seemed that Dudley was struggling with concepts too difficult to put into words. After several moments of apparently painful internal struggle, he said, but, Where's he going to go? The beginning of this chapter is significant because we start to see a side of Dudley that we had never seen before. The Dursleys were leaving Little Whinging to head to safety, and while Vernon and Petunia were more than happy to get out of there, not particularly worried about Harry, Dudley feels differently. Dudley starts to show genuine care for Harry's well-being here, and everyone's shocked, especially his parents. Aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon looked at each other. It was clear that Dudley was frightening them, Hestia Jones broke the silence. But surely you know where your nephew is going? She asked, looking bewildered. Certainly we know, said Vernon Dursley. He's off with some of your lot, isn't he? Right, Dudley, get in the car. You heard the men, we're in a hurry. Again, Vernon Dursley marched as far as the front door, but Dudley did not follow. Off with some of our lot? Hestia looked outraged. Harry had met this attitude before. Witches and wizards seemed stunned that his closest living relatives took so little interest in the famous Harry Potter. It's fine, Harry assured her. It doesn't matter, honestly. Doesn't matter, repeated Hestia, her voice rising considerably. Don't these people realize what you've been through? 
what danger you are in, the unique position you hold in the hearts of the anti-Voldemort movement? Uh, no, they don't, said Harry. They think I'm a waste of space, actually, but I'm used to- I don't think you're a waste of space. If Harry had not seen Dudley's lips move, he might not have believed it. As it was, he stared at Dudley for several seconds, before accepting that it must have been his cousin who had spoken. For one thing, Dudley had turned red. Harry was embarrassed and astonished himself. Well, uh, thanks Dudley. Again, Dudley appeared to grapple with thoughts too unwieldy for expression, before mumbling, you saved my life. Not really, said Harry, it was your soul the Dementor would have taken. He looked curiously at his cousin, they had virtually no contact during this summer or last, as Harry had come back to Privet Drive so briefly and kept to his room so much. It now dawned on Harry, however, that the cup of cold tea on which he had trodden that morning might not have been a booby trap at all. Although rather touched, he was nevertheless quite relieved that Dudley appeared to have exhausted his ability to express his feelings. After opening his mouth once or twice more, Dudley subsided into scarlet-faced silence. And when the time came for the Dursleys to finally, properly leave, Dudley took another opportunity to make his peace with Harry, revealing that he had truly, genuinely changed. Dudley gently released himself from his mother's clutches and walked toward Harry, who had to repress an urge to threaten him with magic. Then Dudley held out his large, pink hand. Blimey, Dudley, said Harry over Aunt Petunia's renewed sobs. Did the Dementors blow a different personality into you? Dunno, muttered Dudley. See you, Harry. Yeah, said Harry, taking Dudley's hand and shaking it. Maybe. Take care, Big D. Dudley nearly smiled. They lumbered from the room. Harry heard his heavy footfalls on the gravel drive, and then a car door slammed. The deleted scene from the film omits most of this, however, as it simply shows Dudley awkwardly walking up to Harry and saying, I don't think you're a waste of space, before shaking his hand. The events of Chapter 3 revealed the type of man that Dudley had transformed into, a good, solid man that genuinely cared for those that were close to him, an unimaginably vast improvement from the spoiled, insensitive, tormentous boy of years past. Dudley was only awful because he was raised that way, and his ability to shake it off and turn into a genuinely decent person as he got older is certainly something to be admired. This scene effectively brought peace to Harry, Dudley's relationship, and the tea that Dudley left at Harry's doorstep was really symbolic for the change that he had undergone. In the words of Sirius Black, we've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on, and that's who we really are. And that's it for this video. Did you guys know about this scene? Are you upset that they left it out of the films? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel.